It's eight in the morning. The pool is 58 degrees. Oh, baby. Cold is all the craze. Celebrities and influencers are plunging into icy waters all over social media. You can't feel my feet or my hands. And it's not that new a phenomenon. It's just the thing that's new about it is how many people are now doing it. That's Professor Mike Tipton from the Extreme Environments Lab at the University of Portsmouth in England. He studied the impacts and the risks of severe heat and cold on the human body. Humans are a tropical animal. We want to be where we evolved, which is sort of East, South, East um, Africa. Now that means that stepping into cold water is, is pretty stressful. The science around the benefits of plunging is murky. We do have some hypotheses as to how cold could work. But until the properly controlled studies are done, we can't be sure. But Tipton says overcoming the challenge of cold water immersion may contribute to some benefits. You have mental resilience at your fingertips. You have productivity, you have focus. You have um, just like this euphoric sensation. You get a bunch of energy. I definitely get this rush of like adrenaline and yeah. serotonin and dopamine. Cold water immersion evokes a fight or flight response. And part of that response is to release the stress hormones. So absolutely, going into cold water is going to wake you up. On the flip side, there's a whole host of potentially hazardous responses that are associated with doing that. According to Tipton, in the first 30 seconds, a cascade of reactions occurs. Cold water sucks heat away five times faster than air. Skin temperature falls rapidly, causing an uncontrollable gasp. Hyperventilation stops blood flowing to the skin and increases blood pressure. This is known as the cold shock response. That cold shock response accounts for about 60% of people who die in um, going into cold water. And that's particularly hazardous if you're hypertensive, if you've got an aneurysm, cardiovascular disease. And historically, we used to think that the most dangerous response to immersion in cold water was hypothermia. What's much more likely by going into cold water repeatedly or for long periods is you would get what we call non-freezing cold injury. And this is a damage to the small nerve fibers and blood vessels and can result in lifelong disability. For those who want to try it, Tipton advises making sure a doctor clears you of heart risks and never taking a plunge alone. He also suggests avoiding water colder than 59 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 degrees Celsius and limiting plunges to five to 10 minutes max. You've got what you need in the first couple of minutes of immersion. There's no need to stay in longer. And remember, there are safer, proven ways to get some of these benefits. Well, we know for a fact that exercise provides a lot of these beneficial changes in mental and physical health. Think more like your beloved TV athletes on the field and less like them on ice. Somebody order a Roy on the rocks, huh?